Hello, this is the All Weasel Let's Play Shadow Key, and the last episode... Well, we, uh, we beat very nearly the final area. We beat that weird glacier area for seemingly no reason. <laughs> well, no, never mind. We got the, uh, the last star tooth. But it did prove once again that the shadow key is always useless. I'm pretty sure I didn't need what Captain Nim gave me. I didn't need a new hairdo, a new quaff. Uh, but... I mean, I guess I won't complain about getting it, but I will complain about the fact that the shadow keys are never crucial. I mean, I guess one time the shadow key let me find Azra, and except for that, the shadow key has always been just pointless. <laughs> Have some random stuff! <laughs> so aren't you glad you found the shadow key? No! No! I was kind of hoping the game would have a better name than here is a random item in the game that isn't even plot crucial. They should have called it Star Tooth. Or maybe they should have called the Star Tooth Shadow Keys and called the Shadow Keys Star Teeth. <laughs> okay. In fact, that's what they should have done. <laughs> We are going to unlock the great beast here, so should be using keys to do that, right? Almost. Kind of makes sense. In some sense, almost. Not really. More shadowy monsters! Well, this episode is probably the finale. You already know if it's the finale. I simultaneously don't and do know whether it's the finale, in that the Yaw Weasel you hear talking does not know, but the Yaw Weasel who is hopefully currently existing while you're watching this uh, does know. Let's go ahead and level up. I feel like we've gotten a bunch of endurance boosts from various things. I really... I mean, it's either endurance or agility. I think all of the other things I don't... I certainly don't need at this point. Uh, I clicked up. Please scroll up. Good lord. Yeah, I'm gonna go with agility again. Yep, yep, yep. Let's go with agility. That is my principal skill as a rug you. So it kind of makes sense, almost. Oh, I almost missed this. Hello! Your room is not well lit, so I couldn't even tell it was here for a moment. Yep, generic zombie-ish mob. Where did you come from? I was just out there in the hall. You weren't there. <laughs> Very generic zombies here. The other ones that were sort of monochrome, at least they were monochrome, like there was something to them. It might have been exactly the same as that area of uh, Dragon Quest VIII, where the only difference was that they were monochrome for no reason, but at least it's something. A few gold coins. Oh, you dropped something as well, which I now cannot find. G g there we go. More gold coins. Okay. Ooh, spider web, so scary. <laughs> Let's see what else there is to see. Hello. Sorry to break up your party, but I'm here to murder you. So what are these supposed to be? Did we ever get an explanation, or are they just the things what are in this particular area? Uh, here's some sunlight water. Yay! Is it made from real sunlight? The answer is no. Ooh, you know what? Hmm. There was an episode a while ago where I saw a statue in behind one of the shadow gates that was really freaky but didn't come with any explanation. I wonder if that was the Umbra Kith, the very thing that we are going to fight in this area. That would at least have some explanation to what it is. And I'll bet you it'll be stupidly easy knowing this game. <laughs> I'll just hang out slightly far away from it with my crossbow, shoot it a dozen times, and it'll die. <laughs> Yay! Either that or it'll be absolutely ludicrously hard. What? There are dogs in here? But why? <laughs> There are dogs inside other dogs here. This is, uh, Cerberus. <laughs> or Kerberos. Yep, go away. And... dead. Stop it! Go away! Okay, let me guess Umbric fur. Umbric fur it is. Okay. 
Oh, hello! I almost didn't notice you were there, friend. It's one of the red-eyed generic zombie enemies, the monochromatic ones. Or near monochromatic, anyway. Hmm. There seems to be a lot of, uh... Just random rooms here. Well, I guess the idea is that the actual keepers of this place abandoned it due to all the nonsense going on. Magic potion. Don't really care. Oh, we're actually going deeper into the crypt here. Okay. I wasn't expecting that, to be honest. Hello? Friendly local murderer here. <laughs> is this going to be... God, given that this is here, there... Mm, yeah, there must be something else important here. The shadows have deemed you worthy. You, ba be you bypass a magical trap. Zone disabled? What does zone disabled mean? <laughs> this entire zone has been disabled. You can't get here anywhere. Okay, this magical trap also failed. O okay, stop saying zone disabled. That feels like a debugging message they accidentally left in. <laughs> I keep on bypassing magical traps. If I go again, do I bypass it again? Oh, they didn't even mention it that time. I did not bypass that magical trap. You hear a low hum followed by a deafening explosion. You have triggered a magical trap and take some damage. What? Look at how little damage that was. It's already healed. <laughs> oh, oh no, I fell into a trap and take some damage. Oh no, oh, I got a paper cut. Zone disabled. Uh, so basically, I had to go through the series of terrible paper cuts, but luckily I'm good at avoiding paper cuts, so I didn't even get most of them. All for what? Is there something important? Okay, hello. Some kind of mystical rune? Oh, have there been those? Yeah, 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 okay, there's been one of those everywhere. Those are the traps, fine. Zone disabled! <laughs> Stop saying zone disabled, you broken game. <laughs> zone disabled! <laughs> uh, yeah, we're coming into the middle here. Zone disabled! <laughs> Doesn't look like there's any way I could have avoided those traps, just through my ability to disarm magical traps. Lying on the floor, practically inviting you to take it, and by that you mean in a chest! I just opened a chest! Is the Shade War Axe. So is that better than my current axe? That would be nice, because my current axe is pretty darn good. 6 through 64, 6 through 70. I mean, yeah, it is better, but I was really expecting more, to be honest. <laughs> That's a very small improvement. <laughs> Uh, let's equip something. There we go. Yay! I have the Shade War Axe! <laughs> so I guess this area was optional, and it gained me something that is frankly not that interesting. What did... did what? <laughs> how did I miss that trap on the way in? You notice how the frame rate vanishes every time I step over a trap. I just know that it's checking, like, wait, have you already been on this trap? I had to go and look in my database. Uh, yes, you've already been here. Okay, thank you. Pass on freely. Really wish I could walk straight. Oh, I missed that one, too, it would seem. And that one, zone disabled. Good lord, it goes on forever. Good, good. I like the, uh, skull piles. Very attractive. <laughs> Zone disabled! Zone disabled! Zone disabled! <laughs> Zone disabled. And are we out of that area finally? Okay, so I'm gonna have to walk all the way around here to get back up to there. And exactly as I suspected, this area really isn't that big in the grand scheme of things. I really didn't think it was going to be. I thought it would be pretty much a straight walk to the, uh, to the, uh, exit. But there's certainly no sort of labyrinth nature to it. There's just one long hallway with a bunch of doors. 
And I've already found the stairs down, so yeah, not a super challenging area in that sense. But let's see what's down this infinite hallway. Is this going to be like the other infinite hallway? I just walk and walk and walk. Nope, definitely not. Ooh. Oh, hello. That's... Okay, I've seen these things before. I've seen maybe a lower level version of these things before. Goodbye. There's stairs up. I was completely not anticipating stairs up, to be honest. Oh my god, go away! <laughs> Can I not fight effectively on the stairs? <laughs> Yay, Magicka Potion! Oh, you're not dead. <laughs> go away! <laughs> Die! <laughs> Yay, Magicka Potion! <laughs> okay, what's at the... Oh, well, there's more monsters! Up, oh, hello! <laughs> Under perpetual attack here! <laughs> What's at the top of this stairs? Their case is what I was trying to say. Uh, oh, hello. What are you? Who are you? What? I really wasn't expecting to find many humans here. Maybe some shadow mages, but not like bandits. Aren't you just a bandit? Why do you hurt so much? Why, why do I take so much damage from arrows, but nothing else in the world? Just in case there are other archers around, I want to bait this one a little bit. Come on, follow me, you jerk. This way. Okay, now you get to die. Don't you hit me with your arrows. They're really annoying. Okay, dead. <laughs> Use brazier? To what end? The flames temper your sinews, increasing your agility by five. And also hurt me, apparently. Increasing your speed by five. Let's not kill myself with a brazier. That would be a bad idea. Increasing your endurance by five. Curious. Is this like a work of art here? I guess it is. <laughs> I would be able to appreciate the art more if there were more pixels. <laughs> I can't destroy it, that's probably good. It looks like maybe a mountain pass or something. It's very hard to tell with the distinctive lack of pixels. Uh, so there must be one more brazier over here then. Indeed there is. You stick your hand in the flames, increasing my strength by five. So that's pretty much all the important statistics upped. And more mountain pass wallpaper. <laughs> Oh, hello! Okay, so I found the random attic of braziers. I suppose I won't complain about that, because I need all the help I can get to defeat the Umbra Keth. Down we go! Okay, this is the way out. There we go. <laughs> that was a very strange and random room. This is a very dark hallway. Hello! Monsters! Oh, this is not promising. Oh yeah! Let's just open the sarcophagus! Nothing bad can happen from that! <laughs> that was not dramatic! I know you were going for dramatic, but it really wasn't dramatic. I like how he just sort of popped in and they couldn't even be bothered to slightly- or even just to replace the closed sarcophagus with an open one. Is this one not openable? Yes, it is openable. Uh, I found a spider heart? <laughs> but why? <laughs> what was it doing in the sarcophagus? Oh dear, this sarcophagus has like a corpse uh, on a rack on top of it. And one of these weirdos in it. <laughs> Go away! Go away, jerk! Is it like a mutant monkey? Well, it's dead now. <laughs> and nothing there. And I guess I go this way now. Wow, there are actually doors in this area. I won't need a key to open this door. I'm the best lockpick guy ever. 
Oh boy, more sarcophagus. Uh, sarcophagus I can open. Why would I care about gold pieces in the last area of the game? <laughs> oh, and that was also in there. Nice. <laughs> Well, you're in the final dungeon, and you have 200,000 frickin' gold for no reason. Hey, you just found another thousand! That's really gonna do you some favors, isn't it? No, really didn't need it. Really, really didn't need it. Not one iota. Please go away. Thank you. Uh, okay. I obviously haven't been up there, but... Oh wait, no, that's the entrance. I have definitely been up there. That's the entrance to this area. So, rather than going up to the entrance, let's go around here and see what's dead behind door number two! Locked door number two with our amazing frame rate. Do not use the skeleton key. Skeleton keys are for losers. Holy hell. Pretty sure that was supposed to kill me, but probably traps can't actually kill you. Wow. Next time round, I'm using the skeleton key. Please hold while I get my uh, strength back. Zzzz. And try, try again. Yeah, use a skeleton key. You have used your skeleton key, p tiny pieces of it begin to crumble upon use. Well, at least I haven't quite destroyed it yet. Open this sarcophagus for no reason. Get me some doom hammer? Wait, somebody... I... I swear I've heard the term doom hammer. I swear I've heard the term doom hammer. It's not connecting. Maybe somebody in the comments will remember where I heard the term Doomhammer. Uh, it isn't a weapon. It's not a weapon, is it? Do I need to use it to destroy the big baddie? Is that it? Is it, is it a special item then? Hmm, doesn't seem to be. It wouldn't be like a consumable, would it? Well, if it's not anywhere, then it's a very special item in that it's an item so special they couldn't even be bothered to show it to you. Yeah, it must be. It must be that you have to find that item in order to something something Umbracath. <laughs> that's, uh, that's definitely the reason, right? Something something Umbracath something something? <laughs> okay, I believe that's just, yeah, that's gonna take me places I've already gone. But, this is new. Eh, fine, I'm in the last area. Let's just, let's just use the skeleton key whenever it forces me to. Hello? What, I can't open this sarcophagus? <laughs> why? Like, why would this be an item that they suddenly make uninteractable? How about this one? Yeah, of course I can open this one. Inside, you find a ring of deflection. Monster? Oh, hello! I was waiting for you! You were off to my side. So, I assume ring of deflection maybe deflect certain magical attacks or something like that? Let's do a quick check. Right now, given that I've been unlocking all these doors, I would ra- Oh my god, go into the menu! <laughs> I would rather have the uh, silver picks on. Ring of Deflection, Information, Defense plus 5 when worn. You know what, let's just put that on. <laughs> That's... I've got a bunch of other things to do, various other things, mostly like magic defense and slightly improve my attack and that kind of thing, but... You know what, defense is more valuable than any of those. Okay, well I obviously have not gone this way, so let's go ahead and see what's down this hall. Well, this looks important. I know I just missed those side halls there. More of these jerks. I'm starting to feel like this isn't going to be the finale. <laughs> Might be too much to explore here for me to explore it all in this episode. Or maybe I'll go extra long. I'll consider that. I'll consider going extra long. Because I am just as desperate to finish this game as you are to see it finished. Have I already... Wait. I mean, that was obviously familiar, but... Oh, I see! This was this hallway! I just didn't notice. Okay. And I'm under attack. No, I'm not. I just somehow managed to fall while walking down the stairs! <laughs> I guess that's why you don't use the map while walking down the stairs. You actually look at the stairs. 
Hmm, this is interesting. There's a sort of lowered area here. Please go away. Magic potion. And ludicrously dark area. So dark I cannot see anything. Hmm, looks like sort of a theater. That style of place. Is that flames I see in the background that they actually animated? Good lord, they animated something other than the enemies. Or is this living flames I need to attack? Do not walk into the fire. That's probably a bad idea. Uh, Scroll of Frenzy. I've never bothered to use one of those because I just don't need it. This game is too easy, at least for the rogue. You are dead. You get to die next. And quickly save because I'm just very curious what happens when you walk into the fire. Definitely a case of curiosity killed the all weasel. Oh, you're still alive. I thought I killed you. <laughs> Oops. Okay, time to burn ourselves to death for no reason. You let out a cry as the flames singe your skin. You've taken some fire damage. Ouch. <laughs> Wow, so it really does, you can just walk into a fire, you take a little bit of fire damage, and it tells you, well, that was a stupid thing to do. Well, let's burn ourselves some more. Oh, I can't, oh, yeah, there we go, I've taken some. <laughs> The fact that it gives you that ma message rather than just, ugh, and you take some fire damage is really funny to me. So we found the random, like, campout room of this particular, uh, uh, crypt of hearts. Please, oh my god, frame rate! <laughs> frame rate, there we go. Magic potion! It's a tradition to find useless magic potions absolutely everywhere. Oh my god, please stop being undead and just start being dead again. You're next! Okay, <clears throat> how about... We just sort of go around the wall a bit. Scroll of Frenzy. Hello! Just hanging out up here then. I don't understand what this area is supposed to be. I mean, it looked like there was sort of a theater, like, you know, there was a round area where the, the actors would sit in the middle, or the whoever's doing any kind of presentation would sit in the middle, but... Then, there's like six of them, so that doesn't quite add up. <laughs> Didn't really make any sense. I guess this is just a very, very strange area of this crypt. Are you... Are you quite done? Please go away. Really wish I could hit you more effectively. Yes, yes, infinite numbers of magic potions I neither want nor need. Can I open this sarcophagus? Uh, scroll of absorb. Okay, was that in the sarcophagus? I guess maybe. <laughs> Shoo! Go away! I can't hit you for the life of me. Maybe if I actually aimed at you. There we go. That's a little bit better. You're half in the sarcophagus anyway. My god. Come on! <laughs> go down! <laughs> Magicka potion? Boy, if I ever needed magicka potions, I now have a trillion of them. There must be another one of these in this corner. And yet there's not. You know what? That room was so pointless, I'm not even gonna check out what I'm missing. I'm just leaving it. <laughs> to hell with that room. Oh, hello. Where'd you go? There you are. You're my friend. I didn't realize you had a weird tongue before. That's a little bit creepy. Well, bye. <laughs> Is this going to be a similar? Yep, yep, yep. Similar kind of thing. I almost feel like just fast forwarding through this room since it's obviously going to be the same. And I, you know what? It's obviously going to be the same. And who cares? I, I don't need any of the things in there. If I later discover I need the things in there, I know where to come back for them. <laughs> to hell with it. <laughs> really don't want to bother at this point. I'm a little bit too interested in beating the game. Okay. These rooms to the right, I really didn't investigate properly. One of them might have something as important as the Doom Hammer. Yep, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Show me the door! 
Hey, I finally succeeded. Uh, wow, that's a lot of gold in that sarcophagus. And no monster. Wow, look at that. <laughs> Lucky me. And this sarcophagus is inexplicably uninteractable. Is it locked? <laughs> okay. I guess I won't complain about a good ton of gold, but it is kind of stupid because I don't need gold anymore. More pieces crumbling off of my poor skeleton key. Uh, 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 there we go. More gold pieces. And, oh, there we go. Wow, it took you a while to spawn in. <laughs> this game is just exactly as much as the end gauge is capable of running and no more. Oh, there were two monsters in there? What were you two doing in there? Both in the same sarcophagus at the same time. Or maybe the other one was from the other sarcophagus, but I somehow missed it and managed to get all the way over here without realizing it was there trying to kill me. <laughs> Go away. Go away. You're no actual threat to me. Okay, goodbye. Uh, is this actually anything? I guess it's just a sort of divot in the wall. That's a bit odd. Uh, it looks like at the other end there might be something. Nope! <laughs> just another divot in the wall. Well, to heck with this floor then. I'm going down. I am going to Heart Place Crypt of Hearts 2. Now, taking all bets, when I go to Crypt of Hearts 2, is it going to be like immediate boss time or a lot more crypt to navigate and then boss time? Perhaps it's just, you know, hoping against hope, but I kind of feel like it might be immediate boss time. It certainly is lose all sense of, uh, of, uh, frame rate the moment you go down this staircase time. Here we go! Here we are, Crypt of Hearts 2. Still going down the stairs, it would seem. Oh, I should save. <laughs> now would be an excellent time to save, actually. So, let's do that. And see what's waiting for us in Crypt of Hearts 2. The noises are fewer here. It's quiet enough to hear your own footsteps. The smell is worse, and the feeling more oppressive. Okay, it is not immediate boss time. There is actually an area here. That's unfortunate. <laughs> I have to actually look around. Dang. But I've got all seven... Star teeth! That's the word I'm looking for. I've got all seven star teeth, so if I can just figure out where I'm supposed to put them, then pretty sure we will be fighting the big boss, and then the game will be over. Oh, hi. <laughs> Almost walked right past you. Not quite. <laughs> Boy, it's fun to just swing your axe at a single enemy over and over and over again. This is a video game! Holding down five until something happens. Yay! I'm obviously being attacked by something magical. Oh, it's, it's that weird jellyfish thing that I can hear but can't see. Uh, hello, jellyfish thing! I knew it was you from your mating call. Goodbye! Which sounds like, I don't know, a squirrel more than anything. <laughs> uh... Oh, hey. I didn't know I was gonna find some human friends down here and not be able to walk up to them and actually hurt them. Go away. Thank you. So glad to take your life. <laughs> I'm not sure why my brain told me that was the sentence I needed to say there, but that's what I said. Hmm. Series of infinitely long hallways? Is that the idea? Oh, nope, there's actually choices. Well, this looks like the giant chamber, so let's see what this is. Endless sarcophaguses. Please tell me these aren't all interactable. Oh god, they probably are! Nothing of value. 
I don't want to interact with all of these sarcophaguses. They're all going to release these jerks, and I'm getting antsy about beating the freaking game! <laughs> uh...